Hello and welcome to Cole Red Plays Raid Shadow Legends. I am Cole Red. Thank you for joining me. So today is Monday and that means I have your no fail weekly plan. In today's video, we're going to cover all of the timers so you don't forget anything. We're also going to talk about the events that are coming your way so that you can plan accordingly. To make sure you don't miss out on any of the rewards here in game, including all of those events and tournaments tied to the Vault Keeper Wixwell Fusion event that is currently underway. I hope you're ready for it. Let's get started. Just a quick reminder to smash that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and consider joining our Discord community. Also, don't forget that we live stream on Tuesdays. We do Takeover Tuesdays where I give away free takeovers to members of my Discord community. That happens at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Hope to see you there. Okay, so let's start with the normal timers and events for the week. Go ahead and click on your clan button and you will notice that the clan quests have about 12 hours left. I've actually picked up mine this week before the last day, which was great. And I think I've completed several. I might have completed all of them. So make sure that if you haven't yet picked up your clan quests, go ahead and try to find some quick, easy ones you can finish in this week. But also remember that in just over 12 hours, they reset. So tomorrow you're going to want to be ready to pick up your new elite quests. Always check in with your clan leadership to make sure that you know the rules regarding your clan quests. Also remember the clan shop. It's a good time to come in here and pick up some energy. If you're going for the fusion, you can get up to a thousand energy. So that's not too shabby. That can go a long way to completing. I think the Ice Golem tournament is currently going on. There's a Dungeon Divers event. Uh, maybe you want to do some champion training. Whatever you have to do, there's some energy for you to grab. And likewise, you know, if you are still getting your champion fragments for Yukarl or Yannicka, make sure to pick those up before the timer resets. Arena just reset last night, so remember to change your defenses, whichever way you like to go. Go ahead and do your strategy. I stick with the one-man defense all week at this point because I've found that if you are active enough on offense, your defense really doesn't matter but that may also depend on your win rate. So depending on how much you win, how often you play, uh, you may need to mess around with your defenses every once in a while. But make sure to get back in here and reset your defenses if you need to and start grinding away, especially at that tag team arena, because it's really easier if you go ahead and drop down into the red, but then set your timer, set your alarm to get back uh, your main defense, your regular defense, so you don't drop a tier which I have done several times recently. So I need to start climbing in Tag Team Arena again. Doom Tower is getting close. We just have over six days left. So just about a week left on Doom Tower. So you want to make sure that you are pushing floors again. If you have capped out on hard floors, either start messing with your teams and manualing your fights to try to break through or go ahead and switch into normal Doom Tower. Make sure you max out the rewards there as well. Also with the city of Centranos, it's the same exact thing, but this is a new rotation, three weeks and five days. Don't wait, right? There are resources to be gained in both of these locations, Doom Tower and Cursed City, and whatever you can get just goes into the stockpile, helps you with the fusion, helps you with shard pulls, regearing when you need silver, whatever it is. So, you know, focus here on Doom Tower and Cursed City. Don't let these slide by. I try to remember to do them every day, immediately after server reset. That's just a good time for me to invest some time there. But whenever is good for you, make sure you're getting into these two locations for all of your resources. Quick note about the Forge Pass. It is ending in just over a day and a half. You can see a day and 13 hours. I do think we actually have three sets of challenges left. If you haven't done today's that you're gonna to get today, you're gonna to get tomorrow, and then you're gonna get after the reset tomorrow, which means that you actually do have three days worth of challenges. So you can get up to six rewards. Try to complete this all the way. You can see I'm just barely going to do it. I'm going to hit it right on the nose, I think, this time. But the bolster set's a really nice set, and it doesn't come around that often. So get as many of these uh, legendary forge materials as you can, and good luck on rolling your bolster set. We do have a special summon pool this week just for the next four and a half days for, for prism shards. Now, the drop rate here is standard uh, sacred shards, right? 6% legendary, 94% epic. So 
decent legendary rate. The pool is okay. I don't love this pool, but it's definitely not bad. The problem is I think the epics are on the weak side. The epic to win, really, if you don't have him yet, is Farrakhan the Fat. Farrakhan the Fat is absolutely fantastic. So if you can pull him, that's a pretty good win if you don't have a, a good ally attacker yet. Uh, he's good in clan boss. He's good in Fire Knight hard mode. You can use him in a lot of places. As far as the legendaries are concerned, however, most of the legendaries are absolutely fantastic. You get a second shot at Armand's if you didn't complete his fusion, or maybe you just want a second copy. Uh, we also have the new Barbarian Faction Unity Champion, Dune Lord Gregor. Uh, you can see he is the Barbarian Barbarian's Unity Champion. So uh, this is the guy I would be looking for. Now, in order to get this, you're going to need Prism Shards, and we're going to go over all of the events and the tournaments that are going on in just a moment. But remember that there is the Vault Keeper Wixwell Fusion as well, so you're going to need extra energy if you want to go after these Prism Shards if you're free to play, or obviously you can spend money if you are a spender. All right, just a look here at the Vault Keeper Wixwell Fusion. Remember that timer up there, limited time fusion event, and it tells you how many days and hours are left and that's important because this is a classic fusion you must fuse the legendary before that timer runs out or you'll just be stuck with all the rares and epics this is not like a fragment fusion event where you can hold on to the champion and summon them at a later date you must complete this and fuse wixwell before that timer runs out okay here we've got the plurium play calendar now you can also find all of these events in the pages in game, right? The tournament page and the event page, although some of them aren't quite up yet. So you can kind of preview several days ahead. And remember up here at the top, you can actually scroll forward to see if there are any events, you know, post the, the window that's available here. So it just, it just gives you one week worth of days, but you can scroll ahead. And if they've announced any particular events, then you can go and see them. And they have announced all of the events for the fusion. So if you're interested in seeing, again, how the fusion unfolds, you can go and look at the event calendar, but you can also come here to the play and play event calendar. Um, so I meant the fusion calendar. You know, you can go and look at Wixwell's fusion calendar. I did a video on that earlier in the week, so you can go back and check that video out if you need help planning how to move forward through this fusion event. But for right now, we can just look here. We are on Monday the 13th. Um, and there is an Ice Golem tournament along with a Dungeon Divers event going on right now. Again, if you click on any of these, you'll see what the rewards are. So you'll know whether or not you're looking at a fusion event or a non-fusion event. So here, if you see this rare champion or epic champion as a reward, right? Like with the Summon Rush, you get both. Um, these are part of the fusion events. You can also see it has Wixwell in the background. However, here we have a Sand Devil's turn attack. It doesn't have Wixwell in the background, and you can see there are no champions for the fusion event, but there are Prism Crystals. So if you are looking to get some free Prism Crystals, you're going to have to take on this Sand Devil turn attack, or there is another option. We have a Dungeon Divers event, which is part of both. It's part of the Wixwell fusion and also part of the Prism Shard event. You will have to go past the rare champion to get the Prism Shard. So I think it's an extra 1,300 points or so, and that's something that you're going to want to be aware of. So you're going to have to account for that extra energy. Make sure it doesn't mess up your fusion. But there are two, I think, two prism crystals worth of, um, or two summons worth of prism crystals out there. Now, I do want to talk about this summon rush event. I mentioned in my fusion plan video that you can go after this epic champion. Now, I looked back at past classic or traditional fusions. The last one we had was Bamboos well, all the way back in September of 2023. And it took 5,400 points to collect the epic champion. So that's roughly 11 sacred shards. Now it's only 2150 or so to get the rare. So that's four sacred shards and 150 mystery shards. So you're talking about an additional six to seven sacred shards for the epic. But if you have a lot of shards, this could be worth it because this will allow you to skip four other events during the fusion. Each epic is worth four rare champions. So you can skip four, uh, four events. So for instance, if you're looking here and you say, I want to skip these Dungeon Divers events, maybe I want to skip the champion training or um, the artifact enhancement. These are all places where you can save resources, 
or or if you want an additional copy of the epic then this would be the place to get that additional copy just one last thing we do have a soul chase tournament going on so be aware of that decide whether or not you want to pull during this tournament the soul thing is still getting worked out i'm saving my souls for two times events unless unless i can get legendary skill tomes because those are my bottleneck so i'm gonna have to check the points see if i can get that skill tome or if i have a shot at it and if i do then i'll go ahead and pull my soul stones uh but if not then i'm definitely going to hold on to them for a two times event okay the only thing left to say is to remind you to watch your timers in game even though we look at the calendar you really need to know the actual hour of the day where tournaments start or stop so come in here to these pages make sure you plan out your play time accordingly i can't tell you how many times at 1 a.m i've decided to go to bed and then remembered oh, I have to finish my champion training event and now I have to stay up until three in the morning and it totally wrecks my next day. So by knowing ahead of time what time these events end, hopefully you can plan your play time so that you can still go to bed at a normal time and not have to go crazy with all of this fusion stuff. Okay, that is it for me today. Let me know in the comments below. Did I miss anything? Do you have any tips and tricks that we can pin to the top of the comments to help everybody else out? Definitely put those in the comments below. Thanks so much for hanging out. I have been Cole Red, and I will see you in another video soon.